Hello everyone and welcome to the session on number series. Hi, I'm Ravi and my Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. You can use that to provide feedback. Now, to begin with number series, first of all, I'd like to tell you some of the most popular and the most commonly used number series. Is. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n adds up to n into n plus 1 by 2. So let's say if someone asks you just randomly that how much is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 200. So that will be 200 into 201 by 2. So that will come out as 20100. Very similarly, some of the squares of first n natural numbers will be that is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square till n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Cubes is whatever was the formula here n into n plus 1 by 2 the square of that value that is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube till n cube. Also it helps if you know this that some of the first n odd numbers that is 1 3 5 and so on is n square whereas the sum of the first n even numbers is n into n plus 1. If you have these formulas memorized they might come in handy at some point of time. However, having said that, the most common question types that you get in number series are something like this. Now, what I would request you is to pause the video here and try out all these questions before moving ahead. As you can see, you have only easy and medium questions. Well, that is a belief that I have that you cannot have difficult questions in number series. They are only easy or of the medium difficulty level. There is also a third type of questions which are asked, which is find out the wrong term in the series. So one of these terms in this particular series is incorrect and you have to identify which term is that. So very similarly, and in these ones, you just have to figure out whatever is the next term. So take some time, pause the video and solve these. How many questions are these? Four and six, 10 and another four. 14 questions should not take you more than 10 minutes. Give yourself 10 minutes and solve these. Okay, I hope you have tried these questions. Now let us continue. So for the first one, which is 31, 29, 24, 22 and 17, you have to observe the pattern. What is the pattern here? 31 to 29 is a drop of 2, then a drop of 5, again a drop of 2, Again, a drop of 5. So what is the pattern? It is dropping by 2, 5, 2, 5 and so on. So the next term will be 15. How about this? 2, 6, 18 and 54. What is the pattern here? Each term is getting multiplied with 3. 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 3 is 18, 18 into 3 is 54. So the next term here will be 54 into 3, which comes out to be 150. 62. What is happening in this one? 1240. Well, they are diminishing, but by how much? This is diminishing by 800. This is diminishing by 160. Not too much of a pattern there, but this is getting divided by 5. 200 by 5 is 40. And that is the pattern you should be looking for. And your answer would be 8. How about this one? 7, 10, 8, 11, 9, 12. Well, a rise of 3, then a fall of 2. A rise of 3, then a fall of 2. A rise of 3, so the next one will be a fall of 2, which gives me 10. Another way of looking at this particular problem would have been that alternatively the numbers are increasing. 7, 8, 9, so the next one will be 10. Here also alternatively they are increasing 10, 11, 12. And the next one, if you are asked to calculate that, would have been 13. Now let's move on to slightly more typical problems. 14, 28, 20, 40, 32, 64, 56, 112 and so on. So this is a rise of 14, fall of 8, rise of 20. Well, no pattern is being formed here. Can you observe anything here? Can you observe something interesting? Well, the first thing that I personally observed was 14 and 28 double, 20, 40 double, 32, 64, double, 56, 1, 1, 2, double. So there is definitely a doubling happening. What is the other pattern? 14 and 20, a rise of 6, 
20 and 32. I'm looking at alternate terms now for obvious reasons because the middle terms are just double. So 14 and 20 rise of 6, 20 and 32 is a rise of 12, which means that if the next one is a rise of 18, I have a pattern. But 32 and 56 is a rise of just, oh my, uh, is a rise of 24. So is there a pattern there? Yes, there is a pattern there. Another way of observing that pattern could be, so what will be the next one? Rise of 6, then a rise of 12, then a rise of 24. The next one will be a rise of 48, which means 56 plus 48 would have given me 104. And that is my answer here. Another way of doing it could have been that from the double, how much is the downtime? 8. From the double 40, downtime or downwards movement is 8. From the double 64, downwards movement is 8 or 56. So once again, from the double 112, the downwards movement is 8 or 104 would have been your answer. Now looking at the next one, 3, 5, 8, 13 and 21. What is happening here? Well, gap of 2, then gap of 3, then gap of 5, then gap of 8. No conceivable pattern. But see this, 3 plus 5 gives me 8. 8 plus 5 gives me 13. 13 plus 8 gives me 21. So what will be the next term? 21 plus 13, which gives me 34. In case you are not aware, this is the very famous Fibonacci series, which is also very commonly used. Next one, I have 3, 8, 15, 24 and 35. What is happening here? 3 to 8, a rise of 5. 8 to 15, a rise of 7. 15 to 24, rise of 9, 24 to 35, rise of 11. Clearly a pattern is forming. The increases are increasing by 2. 5, then 7 here, then 9 here, then 11 here, then the next one would be a rise of 13. So 35 plus 13 would have given me 48. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17. So 2, 2, 4, 2, 4. Pretty random, right? Well, you just need to notice that these are nothing else but your prime numbers. So what is the next prime number after 17? Well, that is 19. See, sometimes what happens is that even if it is very, very obvious, you tend to miss it. So that's what you should avoid. Next one is 6, 24, 60, 120 and 210. This might take a little time to crack. The pattern is they are products of three consecutive integers. 6 is 1 into 2 into 3. This is 2 into 3 into 4. 3 into 4 into 5. 4 into 5 into 6. 5 into 6 into 7. 5 into 6 is 30 into 7 is 210. So the next one will be 6 into 7 into 8 which is nothing else but 336. How about next one? 1, 4, 27, 256. These numbers are looking very familiar. Well, 27 is 3 cube. 256 is 4 to the power 4. Well, if you understand that, it becomes obvious. 1 to the power 1. Next term is 2 to the power 2. Next term is 3 to the power 3. 4 to the power 4. So what will be the term after that? It will be 5 to the power 5 or 3, 1, 2, 5. Now, moving on to the more interesting type of problems. You have to find out the wrong term in this particular series. So once again, you need to notice what is the pattern. 5, 10, 17, 24, 37, 50, 65. Well, the pattern here is that they are 1 above the perfect squares. 5 is 4 plus 1, 9 plus 1, 16 plus 1. So this should have been 25 plus 1 or this should have been 26. And that is why 20 or what was the value here? 24, which was the value here was the incorrect value. 37 is 36 plus 1. Then 50 is 49 plus 1. 65 is 64 plus 1. Let me just instead of 
correcting it here itself let me just make it bold and say that it should be changed to 26 now try and observe the pattern here 4 10 23 50 104 216 and 439 it's simply a game of observing the pattern. The pattern here, guys, in case you have not figured it out by now, is 4 into 2 double plus 2 is 10. 10 into 2 double is 20 plus 3. 23 double is 46 plus 4. So essentially what you are doing is you are just doubling the values and add increasing them by 2, 3, 4 and so on. Once again, Double of 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Double is 20, plus 3. Double is 46, plus 4. Double is 100, plus 5. So that means this should not have been 104. This should have been 105. Let's see if the pattern holds. Double of 105, 210, plus 6. Double of 216 is 432, plus 7, which gives me 439. So that was the pattern that you needed to observe. 380, 188, 92, 48, 28, 2. Try observing the pattern again. The pattern here is very similar to the one above. Half minus 2. 380 half is 190, minus 2 is 188. 188 half is 94, minus 2 is 92. 92 half is 46, minus 2 should have been 44. So this is the mistake here. It should have been 44. Half of 44 is 22. Minus 2 is 20. Half of 20 is 10. Minus 2 is 8. Half of 8 is 4. Minus 2 is 2. So that was the pattern in this particular series. Last and final one. You have 10, 14, 28, 32, 64, 68, 132. Once again, some things which are very obvious. 14 and 28 is double. 32 and 64 is double. 68 and 132 that is not double so there might be a catch here but let's see if there is any other pattern so 10 is the first one and then you are increasing by 4 and then doubling to 28 you again increase by 4 and you double to 64 you again increase by 4 and you should have doubled it to 136 but you didn't do that that makes 132 as the incorrect term and the correct term in place of 132 should have been 136. So I think with these 15 questions, you have got a rough idea of what kind of questions you can expect in the number series part. Hope you like this session. Please provide feedback via Twitter at my Twitter handle, which is at the rate Ravi Handa. You can also email me on my mail ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you.